welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little grocery haul um, just because I find those videos very interesting on other channels. Um, please let me know how you like this video if you want to see more of these or not. So these are all of the items I bought for one week. I spent around 40 euros. I went to three different shops. One is an online shop for spices. Um, and then I went to one grocery store that's a little cheaper and one that's a little more expensive. They're of course both German stores. So I went shopping just a few days ago and not today. So obviously I was already eating a bit of some of the things I got. I bought a 12 pack of eggs. I usually eat one of these um, during a week. Um, usually I will have them for my lunch because I usually make a sandwich with egg and mayo. That's why I bought one um, bottle of mayonnaise. I'm an absolute mayonnaise addict. This is horrible, but I eat mayonnaise all the time. And with my sandwich, I will of course have sandwich bread. This is a special type of sandwich bread because this is actually protein bread. Um, I'm not sure what you would call this in English, but um, it's really low in carbs, but high in protein. So if you eat one of these sandwiches, which has two slices, you get 16.3 grams of protein, which is a lot and which is almost the amount of protein I need during one day. So if I have this and then one egg on it and then the mayonnaise, that's like a high protein snack and it keeps me full for several hours. Here are some frozen green beans. Usually I like to buy fresh green beans just because I find they taste better when I make them in my food steamer. I don't know why that is, but um, my supermarket was out of the fresh ones, so I got frozen ones by the brand Evo. But something my store had, which I've never seen in my entire life, are these green beans. And just look at the size of them, they're huge. And um, they look like the regular green beans, but just really, really big, so I'm hoping they're gonna taste the same and of course I will make them in my food steamer and just on a side note if you're interested in the whole food steamer thing I for one have a blog post on steaming food and I also have a video in which I show you how I prep my meals for four days in a row and you will find that up there and in this video video you get to see how I actually use my food steamer. I also bought a couple of sweet potatoes um, for my lunch or dinner. I also made those in my food steamer. It used to be really hard to find sweet potatoes in Germany. I don't know why that is but nowadays more and more stores have them which is great because I'm really a sweet potato addict and I will at least have one each single day. So I actually bought two kilos. I think I paid for these around five euros which is um, I would say pretty expensive for potatoes but I don't know if you live in the States I know you pay a lot more for your fruits and vegetables so I don't know tell me in the comments like how much do you guys pay for um, two kilos of sweet potatoes I'd love to know for my lunch or dinner I will usually have some type of fish my favorite is salmon of course <laughs> Um, I will have 125 grams um, with my sweet potatoes and my greens and sometimes I'll also have these prawns. Those were pretty affordable. I think I paid for this one only 3 euro and I think 25 cents and there are two pieces in there so this is really cheap. I don't remember what I paid for these but it's probably around the same price. Then I bought these dried mangoes. They are with a little bit of sugar but I didn't buy them necessarily as a snack. Um, I eat them more like candy because to me they tastes like candy. I've already opened one of these. I think they're around 2 euro and 20 cent, I'm not sure. So they aren't the cheapest, but um, at least you're getting a bit of vitamins while you're snacking on something sweet. I also bought lots of ginger because I will have a fresh ginger tea every morning with green tea. If you want to know how I make it, definitely head over to Pure Power Panda because that's where I have the recipe. But I just like to buy a larger portion so it lasts me at least like a week or two weeks. Then I got a bunch of bananas because I like to have one banana every morning in my Bircher Müsli. That is a typical Swiss uh, type of breakfast. Um, there's also a recipe on my blog, it just went up. And for this um, breakfast cereal type of thing, I like to use a cereal mix with fruits and cornflakes and dried berries and also rolled oats. And I will also put uh, soy milk in there and soy yogurt. I prefer um, everything to be soy just because I'm lactose intolerant. This soy yogurt is actually with lime and lemon taste and I can definitely recommend it if you can get it wherever you live. It's so tasty. I also got the same yogurt just with a natural flavor and I will mix these with my dried ingredients and the banana and prepare that at night. And when I get up the next morning, all I have to do is stir it one more time and just add some fresh fruit. And the fruits I like to have in my Bircher Muesli are um, 
fresh strawberries. And I actually got three of these because they were on sale and I only had to pay 99 cents for one of them and that's really cheap because one contains 500 grams. I also bought another type of soy milk just because this one's cheaper. I like to use this one for my coffee in the morning and the other one that's a little bit more expensive is the one I like to use for my muesli um, just because um, I think it just tastes better in there and in the coffee I don't mind the flavor of the cheaper one. And finally I purchased these spices online. This is a German online store, it's called Multikoch and they have just regular spices but they also have like these spice mixes. I like to use different types of spices for um, for my salmon for example because I do meal prep and obviously I don't want to have the same exact flavor every single day and if you just put different spices on everything it will taste completely different. So this one is more um, with a garlic flavor. Then I have one that's called American Stuffing and this one is, um, I don't know, it's hard to describe. But like really when you smell them like you, you just want to eat that's how good they smell I have another one um, that's just like honey American so it's like a steak pepper uh, Obviously, I don't eat steak, but I thought you could use this for any other type of dish Maybe even for my prawns and this one's supposed to be super spicy Because it's with a chili flakes. I will definitely do a blog post and maybe some recipe ideas with these spices So this was my grocery haul for the entire week. I hope you enjoyed it Feel free to leave me your feedback so I know if you want me to do more of these videos in the future Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video